Welcome everyone. I've been wanting to make this video for so long now. I'm gonna be giving you guys my favorite plugins. Two of them are free. One of them you can get on Motion Array. Now with these three effects, you guys can create anything on so social media, short form content. You guys can create your own presets with these plugins right here. And these have gotta be my favorite plugins to use in DaVinci Resolve. I use these in just about every single video. Okay guys, so the first plugin we're gonna go over is paid. I'm gonna get the paid one out of the way. This one's called the multi-point camera tracker. Now, if you really can use this and you know how to work the controls, now you could create some solid looking effects out of this, like, you know, with anything really. You could do like timeline effects, like, you know, the opportunities with this one is endless. And th I think this, like, even if you don't wanna buy a subscription to Motion Array, I think you can get this for like, maybe like 10 bucks, like for a pack, it's just crazy. So you have one point camera tracker, two point camera tracker, three, four, and five, right? So for this, this shot right here, I'm gonna add a two point camera tracker. I'm gonna add it onto this clip right here. Now, if you can see in this clip, it's kind of just um, this, this poster for like a few seconds, right? Um, so we're gonna leave it that way. And you can see that these bevels are on the top, these little point trackers. Um, you don't have to worry about those, honestly. So what? Um, once you apply the, the camera tracker, I'm gonna show you guys what it can do. Um, obviously, if you play it, there's nothing's gonna happen, so you have to go to the effects and mess with the controls. So this is edit mode, this is timing assistance. Timing assistance kinda just helps you with the keyframes. Uh, so right there, we're on keyframe 89 right now, okay? Instead of just going like one by one by one for your manual self, it helps. Um, and then edit mode is is where you will take it out and you're actually able to use it but we're gonna switch these around. So for number one, in order to access these actually, you need to hit the drop down menu and go to Fusion Overlay, and now you're able to drag these. So once you grab this, you should see a white X. Now you're able to take this wherever you want it. So I'm just gonna put it right here for now as a reference point. Now I'm gonna take the second one and put it at the end of the Be Unstoppable, right? So if we take this off edit mode, you could kind of see what it does. So it's gonna go in like this. Oh my, look at th this is insane. This is insane. For a plugin, I could do this crazy effect right here. Just with this plugin, I could do this. That's insane, bro. I don't care what no one says. So for the second one, it's not gonna it's not gonna work. Um, it'll just go back out like that. So so we're just gonna do a bit of messing around with this. So I'm I'm just gonna bring this like right here um, to kind of center it. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this starting point down. This is where the timing assistance comes in hand because this is the starting time. So where, whenever you want the second point to start coming in is when you do it. So I'm gonna do it at frame 80. Now for the second one, I'm just gonna go back down and do this one at 80. Um, but if you see here, it, it won't go to it, right? Um, it's kind of weird, you, under the point settings, the zoom will be off on the second one always. It's super, super strange how that is, but. Anyways, um, so like I said, this one is also not in the same place that I want it to be, so I'm just gonna put that one like right here. So now if we just see what we have already with just messing around, we have something like this. See, but I want that to be like way faster. So I'm actually just gonna take this down to maybe like 50 and see what that looks like. Still a little bit too slow, so I'm gonna probably bring it down to like 30. And then now this is this will probably be what we want it to be like. Okay, so now that I have it where I want it to be, you know, we started off in front of these letters because I thought that's what would look best, but we were wrong, right? So that you just have to fluctuate and adjust. Um, my, my I made a mistake. My first time, I didn't know how to get rid of this. I don't want that there, you know? Maybe you might want it there, but I don't want that there. So literally all you have to do is turn off timing assistance and then now you have something like this. So it'll kind of just read be unstoppable. I think that's super cool. And you could you could take this you know many other ways. Um, that was just two point camera tracker. You could do a five point camera tracker and do it like a documentary style where it goes down and down and then in the middle and then over here over here over here. There's endless opportunities with this plugin. So that is the first effect. Now for the second effect, we are going to be using what's called Magic Zoom. Now I kid you not, I use Magic Zoom in every video I've ever made. Um, when it comes to you know maybe maybe except for like gym edits or, or something like that, you know, and and I I've even used it in my gym edit actually. So scratch that. I use it in every short form piece of content and every YouTube video I've ever made. I've used it in 
everything. Um, I'm about to show you guys exactly what it is and it's actually completely free and it'll be in the link in the description as well as all these plugins that are in this video, they will be in the link in the description. Right here, I have this reel that I just recently made. Super cool reel. Um, as you can see, first things first, my video starts off with Magic Zoom right here. This first effect you see right here is Magic Zoom. You guys wanna know how I created the so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm able to create that. The shutter. And I actually used it twice in the video, so the second time I used it in this video is right here. Put the word shutter, and I'll send it all over to you for completely free. So you could kind of barely notice it, but it suddenly zooms in as soon as my shutter comes up, and then um, it zooms back out. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm able to create something like that. So once you guys download Magic Zoom, we're gonna come to the effects page and grab an adjustment clip, and we're actually just gonna slap that right above our clip. And then under, effects you scroll down until you see magic zoom this is it right here we're just going to apply that to our adjustment clip um, and then if you already see we have something that zooms in real quick um, and then zooms out so you know already looks good it really just does the animation for you but I'm gonna give you guys a, a couple of sauce. So first things first, if you like how that looks, I personally do, um, then keep that. But if you're starting out your video and you wanna start off on a zoom out, it kinda engages the viewer more. Um, under the zoom type, you're just gonna put the drop down menu and do hold and zoom. So it'll kinda hold it and you gotta shorten it too. So it'll kinda, it'll kinda hold it and then zoom out. Um, I like that effect a lot. Um, or you could do vice versa, so you could do zoom and hold. So at the front, it'll just zoom in um, and then it'll stay there, right? But the problem with that is it'll just cut and then cut back out, you know? So um, I try to typically stay away from something like that just because it's not typical for me. Um, and then you have mirror, so it'll zoom in and then it will also zoom out. So we're gonna get straight into talking about this effect and what you can achieve with this. So so you, you could use this on anything. You can use this for assets too. I'm about to show you, I'm about to blow your mind. So for here, you can mess with the zoom scale a little bit, bring it up and to where it goes faster. Um, but say you want it in this corner over here, you wanna really pinpoint something, right? Um, but again, you gotta hit this drop down menu, go to the fusion overlay, and you see, you'll see, get this X right here. You could kinda just drag it over here and it'll zoom into this area. So now, it'll just zoom into that area for you and then it'll zoom back out, right? But say you want some motion, right? So scroll all the way down under the effects panel there's actually a camera shake option. I'm gonna crank this up to about 0.4 and then point th put the speed scale at about around 0.3. So now as you can see, it kind of shakes around a little bit. You can see the edges. So that itself is, is already crazy, right? But I'm about to blow your mind even more. So I have this asset in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna apply magic zoom to this, okay? so. Say I go into my fusion page and I just add a quick transform node and I bring this down and I wanna just animate it up, right? So I'm just gonna do this, animate it up. I'm gonna also mess with my spline a little bit. This is just a bonus tip to make it more smooth. And then under the settings, we'll just apply motion blur. Super simple, right? A super simple animation up, okay? So what am I, how can I spice this up? You could do this on any effect that you're using if you're doing short form content. So say I want this magic zoom, I'm just gonna drag that sucker on there. Um, now typically I like to take the scale and zoom it out so it doesn't zoom in too much. But what I really like about it is um, I'm able to, first of all, I'm gonna put this on zoom and hold. And then this is my favorite part is obviously camera shake. So what I'm gonna end up doing is it's turning this up like I previously did. So now as you can see, it'll animate up and as you can see, it is shaking around. That's a game changer. You could do that with anything. You could do that with assets. So say you're doing a video for short form content, you can have it come up beneath him and then, then it animates around and it wiggles around. It just looks more professional. All right guys, so this is my last plugin. This is probably one of the ones that saves me the most time um, and actually most convenient, right? So. Um, now this can only be done in the paid version, um, which is like, you know, like a one-time payment. Um, I suggest you guys get the pro version for DaVinci Resolve, but we're going to hop into it. So I have this video with, with uh, someone speaking behind it. So you have him talking, right? Under the timeline, I'm going to do create subtitles from audio, and I'm going to do something around 25, just for long form sake. If I was doing short form, I would do 10 Per characters per line, but we're just gonna generate this. So now you can see we have these subtitles. You have to get up and go. Right, um, they're kind of off center and stuff. And uh, I'd say the okay. worst part about the subtitles, right, is you can change them all at once, right? But you're limited. You can't you can't go into Fusion and change them up, right? And if you did, you'd have to do it individually, 
which is just a pain. So if I if say I wanted to change all the track, you know, yeah, I could change, you know, the text font and you know maybe the color to red. And I could put an outline on it, you know, small outline and then a drop shadow, right? But but you're kind of limited with what you could do, right? So so essentially um I don't like doing it that way, right? So this is where our third plugin comes in. It's called Snap Captions. And believe it or not, this is absolutely free. This is insane. This guy made this free software where you're able to do exactly what I just said, you know? So it'll auto-generate those captions for you. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So I'm gonna link this down in the description below. His YouTube video goes way more in depth than I will. And it's kind of difficult to download, but once you get it good, then you're, you're, you can start, you know, I, I do my captions for my short form and, and whatever in probably about a minute max. You know, sometimes I don't even check over my captions because if there's a mistake, someone will comment, that's more engagement. So for the this, we're gonna come up here into the workspaces and we're gonna go to scripts, comp, and then we'll bring up snap captions. Now this is what snap captions looks like. You go to my text templates, right? I have all these templates. Um, now I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. Um, I basically just made all my own templates, right? So say I wanted to just make my own template I'd have to upload it into this bin. Here for one of my clients, this is his text, right? So um, I'll go down in my Fusion and I'll break this down. It's a super simple text node. It's just a glow and a drop shadow. And then um, I, I have his color, which is this, this orangish color, right? Once you have that text that you like and you want it to be in your snap captions, you just drag it into your power bin and you let go. And then you're able to name it whatever you want. Now that you're caught up, um, you can create any text you want, you know, whatever it is your style is, right? So for this instance, I'm going to use this client text right here. I'm going to be able to remove the punctuation, which is amazing, and also do all uppercase. This is game changing. Now, when I press generate, watch how fast it does it. Boom, just like that. It's already done, right? Generated it super fast, and now I have a text like this throughout all my stuff. Um, and it really works best for short form content. It's it's a... Uh, is a serious level stuff right here. Um, and, and and this will speed up your workflow, right? So so you could go from making a video in like an hour to literally with all these things I just taught you, you could save them as presets as well and throw them in your power bins and name them. And, and you know, you can speed up your workflow um, and you could be editing reels, client reels, your reels, whatever it is. And I mean, shit, 30 minutes per video, which is insane. Um, so yeah, guys, that's going to conclude this video. Those are my three favorite plugins that I use in DaVinci Resolve every single video. I'm not here to gatekeep. I think that a lot of you can use find this video useful. And uh, if you do find this useful, you already know what to do. Leave a like, a comment, and uh, let me know down in the comments below like what you guys are trying to see from me. Do you guys want to see more client videos? Do you guys want to see how, to, how I edit my reel? Whatever you guys want to see, just let me know and I will make that video. As always, it's been real, guys. Thank you guys for sticking around. If you guys learned something, peace out.